Let's take a look at how legal and other users want to be able to edit and create new versions of Microsoft Word documents stored in SharePoint Online. We're in Microsoft Outlook. We're using the Macro View pane to examine the documents and emails that have already been stored for this matter, including this sample agreement. Here's a formatted preview of the document, and we note that its unique document ID ends in 2257 and that it's currently at version 3.0. Let's right click and open the document. The document is retrieved from SharePoint Online and opened in Microsoft Word. We note that the unique ID and the current version number is displayed in the heading of the Word session and also in the footer of the Word document. If we go to the backstage of the document, we see that Mac Review has automatically checked out the document as it opened it. Let's add some additional text to our document and close. We are prompted to save our unsaved changes. This dialog displays to give us our version control options. We could choose to overwrite the existing version, save as a new document, or save as a new major version 4. Let's create a new major version 4 with this suitable comment. Keep your eye on the footer of the Word document because you'll see that it's automatically updated to reflect the new version. Let's, time, let's open the document by using the Open from SharePoint button in Microsoft Word. The Mac Review Open from SharePoint dialog displays and it selects the matter that we were working in most recently. Here is our newly edited document at version 4. If we click, we see a formatted preview with our new content and our updated footer to show version 4. Let's uh, open the document again. This time, not make a change and close. Now Word is closed. We're back in Outlook. We can still see our sample agreement document, which is still at version 4. Again, a formatted preview, and we see our footer still at version 4. If we right-click the document, we have the option to check it out. In other words, the checkout that happened automatically as we opened the document has been automatically discarded because we closed without making any changes to the document. Finally, let's right click the document and choose version history. And the highlighted comment is the one we made as we created a new version 4. For more information about how MacReview enables document and email management solutions on SharePoint, with the usability and functionality of a traditional DM system, contact MacReview using these details.